This is going to be hard for me to say. Harder than if I tried to force myself to puke on my desk right now by sticking my hand as far down my throat as possible. I have an addiction. And to be honest, it's not one of the usual suspects like... No, instead, I have developed an addiction to Deep Rock Galactic. Deep Rock Galactic is a cooperative first-person shooter where you play as a dwarf and work for a soulless corporation like the kind that calls itself a family to manipulate its workers into thinking the higher-ups care about them so they'll work harder because they're working for the family business. You mine minerals, kill bugs, yada yada. I can go on about this game for like 10 minutes on all the details of how everything works and why it's so perfect, but to be brutally honest, I don't get it. That's what this is about. I don't get it, despite the fact that everybody, their mother and local pastor, has already uploaded a 10-minute video on why this game is a must-have. So I'll Instead, just make this video in line with the typical standard for my videos, meaning short, lazy, and bound to make someone upset. I wholeheartedly admit that I cannot understand, in all of my time I spend pondering, why this game has a gameplay loop that brings you back in, because it's as simple as shoot the bugs off the walls, perform manual labor, and get your usually very depressing paycheck of in-game currency at the end of the day. Like, why is this shit fun? How? I don't get it, despite the fact that I am someone who finds it fun. I once took a philosophy class, and I understood the meaning behind stuff like Bertram Russell's teapot and space analogy, Immanuel Kant's disinterested attitude towards aesthetics, Friedrich Nietzsche's ubermensch, Albert Camus' theory of absurdicism, yet I can't wrap my head around why I still play this game. I would understand from a beginner's perspective why someone would play this game in the first place, because obviously I was that beginner. You're getting upgrades and cosmetics from playing the game, and you're seeing the sights of Hoxus 4 and experiencing the missions for the first time, so all around standard honeymoon phase stuff here, but when you get to the point, where you're just doing the weekly assignments to get materials to upgrade your gear, despite the fact that you have all the gear you enjoy using upgraded the way you want it to be, just what's the point? I mean, sure, there's later game upgrades that can change the entire functionality of a weapon, but at the end of the day, you're still just shooting bugs and performing manual labor, now for materials you don't need. And this is all coming from someone who's like level 37. You level up slowly in this game, and then there's still people who are in the multiple hundreds of a player level. I saw someone with over level a thousand, and I'm kicking myself I did not screenshot that shit to show here to prove it, but I saw it, and like, what is that person doing in this game to keep them entertained for that long? You see people uploading videos like what playing 2,000 missions in one specific class looks like, and I'm just bewildered. Over three separate classes, I've played a grand total of 125 missions, and at that point, you've been around the bend. You've seen all 10 regions. You've earned one or two character promotions, played missions with every type of anomaly, filled your beast area, and people are over here going, yeah, I've done 2,000 missions as the engineer, the class where you have an automated turret to do half the shooting for you. The community of this game is honestly funny as fuck. Select amount of online game communities can often adapt an unofficial title, like how you hear people say Minecrafters. And it's honestly super comedic that the dev team of Deep Rock Galactic opens all of their update videos and writes all of their memos addressing the community as Hello Miners! because that fits well with the lore of the game, yet I know that I personally, as someone who's not seen too much Deep Rock content on the internet, have heard people use the term hive mind to describe the community rather than the term the devs actually use. Because if you've played at least a handful of missions with random players, you will see that the entire community shares one brain cell that's completely inactive until someone spots a chunk of gold, and for the next few minutes, you take time out of your life you will never get back to simply partake in and if you've played even one mission with anyone, you would know just how chanting rock and stone can mean so many different things. Basically, every time anything of interest happens, you look to the near scruffy, probably drunken champion and chant. And whenever the devs post an update trailer, you needn't to look far before finding the communal comment thread filled with rock and rock and rock and rock and rock and stone. And knowing I join in on those festivities every time as well makes me feel like a child when their annoyed parents jingle keys in front of them as a distraction, yet I still chant about just how rich we are every time. And so that's my relationship with this game. I don't understand why I keep playing it, which makes me feel dumb. And then I feel dumb when I play it. Everything this game does makes me feel like an idiot, and I don't normally feel like an idiot, even when I do idiotic things, or say idiotic things, or get idiot tattooed on my leg. 
I wish that was a joke. This is real. But I don't feel like an idiot unless it has anything to do with Deep Rock Galactic. And I wouldn't have it any other way. See you around. Unless I don't. Bye now.